properties of cathode rays. Cathode rays travel in straight lines. In the cathode ray discharge tube, when metal object shown as cross is placed along the path of cathode rays, then it was observed that the shadow of the metal object is obtained on the glass wall opposite to that of cathode. From this observation, one may conclude that cathode rays travel in straight lines. Cathode rays are negatively charged. Let the anode of discharge tube is provided with holes and arranged with a photographic zinc sulfide screen. When cathode rays are made to pass through the perforated anode, then green light flashes or scintillations were noticed on zinc sulfide screen exactly in line with the holes on anode. This phenomena of light flashes on zinc sulfide screen is called fluorescence. The movement of invisible cathode rays towards positively charged anode clearly indicates that cathode rays are negatively charged particles. Cathode rays and electric field Let electric field shown as positive and negatively charged plates is applied perpendicularly across the path of cathode rays in a cathode ray discharge tube. Then it was observed that cathode rays are deflected towards the positively charged plate. This attraction of cathode rays towards positively charged plate clearly indicates that cathode rays are negatively charged. Cathode rays and magnetic field Cathode rays are deflected by magnetic field. A magnetic field via magnet is applied perpendicular to the plane of cathode rays with the north pole pointing closer to the cathode ray discharge tube. Then it was observed that the cathode rays are deflected towards the north pole of the magnet while when magnetic field with south pole pointing towards cathode rays is applied then cathode rays were deflected away from it. This indicates the negative character of cathode rays. Cathode rays and particle nature A paddle wheel as shown is placed along the path of cathode rays and cathode ray discharge tube. As the cathode rays pass through the paddle wheel, the paddle wheel begins to rotate. This indicates that the cathode rays have got particle nature with a specific mass. Now, cathode rays consisting of particles on collision with solid paddle wheel transfers its momentum as well as energy and thereby makes the paddle wheel move with a particular velocity. This experiment confirms the particle nature of cathode rays. 
Finally, from all these cathode ray discharge tube experiments, one may conclude that cathode rays consist of negatively charged particles called as electrons.